Well, hey there. You ever curious about how that engine in your car works? Well, using the help of Jammer Sketchpad, I managed to rig up a little something to show you. Jammer Sketchpad isn't really made for this kind of thing, but seeing as I do what I want, Jammer Sketchpad was only too happy to oblige me. Now, the first four cycle engines, such as the one you made in your car, were first invented in the late 1800s by, well, credited to, some German guy named, what was his name again? Hmm, Nikolaus Otto. Hence uh, the term called auto cycle for the type of engine they are. In any case, look on if you're interested and have a good time. Okay, so here is our four cycle engine. You can see it's called that because we'll start off. There's four cycles to this engine. First, there's the intake, the compression, the ignition, and then the exhaust. Now when I get this thing started to run, uh, you'll see the arrow point around to what cycle it's on. So let's do that. Okay, cool. Now why don't I drag a little gas particle, we'll call it through here. So first we have our intake, our compression, the ignition, and the exhaust. And of course this happens over and over again to allow us to run. Okay, so how does this all run? Well, let's take a look. Here's the piston, one of the most important parts, is it allows for intake of gas and air as well as exhaust of burnt gases. Of course, a linear motion of the piston is transferred into rotational motion via this, the crankshaft. And up on top, here's what really makes all this run, one of the most finicky parts, there's the camshaft there, and the rocker arms, and the valves here. This is all timed precisely to allow for the correct intake and exhaust of fuel and such. Of course, there's a spark plug there too, which is nice. It. Now, when it's all working, the camshaft up on top spins half as fast as the crankshaft below. This is in order to ensure that, see how the camshaft pushes the valves twice for every one time the piston goes around. Now, what I think is the most amazing part about this whole process is that Okay, so you're driving your car along at 3,000 RPMs. That means that crankshaft is moving 50 times a second, while the camshaft up on top is moving around 25 times a second. That's a mass amount of stuff going on every single second. Now, of course, there's uh, you know advantages and disadvantages of this type of setup here. Probably the main advantage is that, provided you have air and fuel, you can put these things pretty much anywhere. They can do pretty much anything you want. The disadvantage comes from all these moving parts. As I said, they start moving extremely fast once you have this engine moving fast. And over time, they wear down. And uh, they require constant maintenance. So, of course, there have been efforts to make more reliable engines, which you can see if you look at my rotary engine. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Have a good day.